is to assemble the commercial toddy brewer you take the spout and with the flush end of the washer spin the spout until it is completely inserted once it's tight make sure that it's upside down to put the other washer and the nut on it and again making sure that that washer is flush Once the nut is attached securely, then you just set it back down, turn the spout 180 degrees so it's pointing down, and that's it. That's the assembly. Okay, to make a batch of cold brewed coffee using the commercial toddy maker, um, what you do is you have your assembled container ready to go. You put the reusable strainer inside, and it has a, a pretty tight elastic that will fit snug over the top of the brewer. So once that is in, you take a filter, insert that into the brewer, and take five pounds of your choice of dark roasted dark honey coffee, and you pour it right into the filter. And there you go, five pounds of coffee ready to go. Then what you do is you saturate the grounds with seven quarts of water. Once the seven quarts of water are in inside the filter, you want to take a string that comes along with the brewer and all of your supplies and just tie off the top of the bag. Okay, once the filter bag is then tied off, you want to go ahead and dump seven more quarts of water over the coffee grounds. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now we're at the end of the second batch of water, so now there's 14 quarts of water in here. And this batch will ultimately make two and a half gallons of cold brewed coffee. So what we do then is we put our, our lid over the top so it can begin to steep. And you can place it in either a cool, dark place or in the cooler for no less than 15 hours. Um, optimum time would be 15 to 20. Okay, so the coffee concentrate has been steeping for 15 hours. So we're ready to start putting it into smaller containers. So we'll just go ahead and start doing that. And you can fill a few containers so that the water level goes down far enough so you'll have an easier time getting the filter out of the unit. So remember we have this reusable strainer that you don't want to put in the garbage. And what you want to do is just gently grab out the filter and you can squeeze out any of the excess coffee that's in there and then you can discard. Um, I have heard of people composting it or just simply throwing it in the trash.